Welcome back to CBS This Morning. You're looking at the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and it is quite a sight. Weather permitting, it is scheduled to blast off at 4.33 Eastern Time this afternoon, carrying two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. It will be the first time a private company launches humans into orbit. As part of our Launch America coverage, Mark Strassman talked to SpaceX founder Elon Musk. It's his only broadcast network interview before today's launch. I'm the chief engineer of the, the thing, so I'd just like to say if it goes right, it's credit to the, the SpaceX NASA team. If it goes wrong, it's my fault. You believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We met Elon Musk and NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine inside Kennedy Space Center's Launch Control Center. This is SpaceX's firing room, where Musk will watch today's scheduled liftoff. His Falcon 9 rocket stood on launch pad 39A, the same pad that sent Apollo 11 to the moon. It's an incredible honor to be on this launch pad, for which we're immensely grateful. This is, 39A is like Times Square. It's, it's not just opening a play on Broadway, it's opening a play on Times Square. Hmm. Okay, it's like, it's the best pad in the world. What does this moment mean to you? Well, this is the culmination of a dream. This is a dream come true. In fact, it feels surreal. If you'd asked me when starting SpaceX if this would happen, I'd be like, 1%, 0.1% chance. Since SpaceX launched 18 years ago, Musk has revolutionized rocketry and the business model of space travel. His Falcon 9 rocket is reusable, a milestone breakthrough, because it slashes the dominant cost of launching. Bridenstine says that sort of corporate innovation is key to NASA's future, too. And now, for the first time, the government is saying, look, we want to be a customer for sure, but we want to be one customer of many, and we want to have numerous providers that are competing on cost and innovation. This is the beginning of a commercial marketplace in space. SpaceX has had 19 successful launches of cargo to the International Space Station. But with this launch, for the first time, SpaceX will carry people. NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. By far, it's the company's most pivotal test. Is there one thing that keeps you up at night about this launch? Not one thing. No. no. There's a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a million things have to go right. Yes. Thousands of things that can go wrong, and only one thing that can go right. Anything anyone can think of to improve the probability of success and make sure Bob and Doug are safely taken to the space station, that is the absolute priority. In fact, I've told the SpaceX team it is not simply the top priority, it is the only priority. How does that responsibility weigh on you? Uh, it weighs very heavily. Um, that's really all I can think about right now. I really kind of have to kind of mentally block it because otherwise the, the, it would be emotionally impossible to deal with. It's that significant? Yes. You know, I was asking them just, just a few hours ago, it's like, you guys feel good about this? Is, you know, is there anything you want us to do? And, um, man, they're cool, cool as a cucumber. I mean, they're just like, shh, nerves of steel. It's astonishing. I mean, they're ready to go. I sent them a text yesterday, and I, I said, if there's anything you want me to do I to said, stop this, exactly. <laughs> totally. I'll, yes. I'll stop it in a heartbeat. Yes. And both of them said, we're go for launch, both of them. So the astronauts are cooler than you two. All right. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Probably. One of Bridenstine's goals, get Americans excited about space again. A successful launch would do that. NASA is also working with actor Tom Cruise to film a space movie. Wait for it, aboard the space station. What is the deal with astronaut Tom Cruise? Actually, I think that remains to be seen. We're supportive, and I think, I think NASA is supportive of anything that captures the imagination of the, of, of the public. If they want to go to the International Space Station and make a movie and inspire a generation yeah, of explorers, sure. that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, it's cool. I'm going to you know? tell you something that I don't often admit, um, but I became a Navy pilot because I watched the movie Top Gun <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, and it changed my life. The question is, is Tom Cruise making a movie about going to the International Space Station? Is he going to inspire the next Elon Musk? That's the question. And if he can do that, then we win. But for SpaceX to fly Tom Cruise or anyone else down the road, first they have to nail this launch and this mission. It started raining here just a few minutes ago, but launch conditions are actually 60% favorable in the weather department. There's growing concern, though, about whether out in the Atlantic, where the capsule would have to ditch if the launch ran into a significant problem. And Anthony, if today is a no-go for weather or any other reason, the next launch window would be Saturday afternoon. Yeah.
Okay, Mark, I'm, I saw the raindrops on your jacket and I was thinking, uh-oh, I hope this holds up. It doesn't hold up. I hope that moves away. But uh, listen, if they're, if they're trying to excite us about the space program, they're doing a really good job. I, I just, I remember going out no almost kidding. 18 years ago when they first start, when they first started SpaceX and I never imagined this, uh, Mark. Gail? I know. Uh, listen, I, I, I'm with you, Anthony. When I saw the raindrops on Mark's jacket, I went rot row. But I'm so nervous <laughs> about today, but yet so excited. And it just shows you that your imagination is limitless. I can't wait to see what happens this afternoon or Saturday. If we have to wait a couple of days, that is okay. Tony? Yeah, guys, count me excited as well. I don't need Tom Cruise to go up there and make a movie to get me inspired about space. I, I think of the mess that we've made here from time to time here on Earth, and, and maybe we can do better up there once we get there. And if Elon Musk can help us, more power to him, though. I'm nervous with him, but best yes. of luck, and I hope that rain moves yes. off.